What is going on, YouTube? It's it's Jason Fisher. I was I had a stroke. All right, I just I just finished fighting everybody over here. Let's go ahead, wrap this up. Uh, real quick, I should have healed off screen, but it's fine. Um, it's currently 9:15. My alarm to go to work goes off at 9:50. I'm hoping to get two more videos in uh, prior to uh, having to go to work. Everybody's all healed up. Let's go to the Pokemon Tower. Oh, after I do the Pokemon Tower, I have two options. I can either go fight Snorlax, or I can go to Silphico. Oh, I should probably throw up a Repel, because I'm sick and tired of uh, running into Gasly's. I mean, I might get a Shiny, but other than that... Uh, I already fought all these chicks. I remember I got about halfway through this. Uh, I fought all these chicks. Okay, this is the- this right here is the farthest I ever got. Uh, la, da, do. I am not scripts, fighter. You shall join us. Like, nah, I don't think so. You keep unplugging and replugging your phone, and I'm getting the. No, it's fine. I'm just. No, it's actually it's not your charger. It's the computer. I'm telling you, it's the it's the computer because with my with. I was gonna say the same thing happens to mine. Yeah. Because when I plug this into my computer, it does that. Fought her. Uh, let's go ahead and fight her. Give me your all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna one shot this chick. She's got like what? Yeah, one Pokemon. Right. Ooh, a Hunter. Okay, so a, a challenge. Slightly more bulky than a Ghastly. Uh, Metal Claw. Yep, I knew it. I was really hoping she would go for a uh, curse to kill herself, but it's all right. That's... Oh, I just realized I blocked off my way to the stairs. Um... And then I got... Oh, oh yeah, that's right! Everybody gets healed. Duh. Alright, get the cleanse tag. Uh, which is kind of like a sort of pseudo-repel. Zombies? This chick's on something, let me tell you. Chandler Karina. Look, look at this chick. Tell me she doesn't look like she's on something. She's screaming zombies. Buy the cranberries. Metal claw, one shot this thing. Ooh, I didn't kill. Oh, I like how I can just undo what she just did uh, by going back to the cleanse thing. But then again, I, I, I have uh, plenty of stuff. Uh, there's one more chick down here. Let's go fight her, get this item, go back real quick just for a cleanse uh, to get healed. So that way I don't have to run back down to the Pokemon Center, which is great. Another Ghastly. I should one-shot this thing. Keep me should. Metal Claw. Defeated Chandler Jane. I believe that, I don't remember how to pronounce her name. Oh, a nugget! Alright, cool. I can get some money. 
All right, the rappel wore off. I gotta put another rappel up. I'm running out of rappels. I should probably get another one. All right, cleanse myself real quick. Go up the stairs. Uh, there's an item down here, which is great. Grab that real quick. Uh, an X accuracy. I can go ahead and sell that for some money because I, I don't need it. Uh, there's a chick right there. A chick right there. There's three chicks right here. So oh, wait, I think there's three three of them on every floor. A cure being, I think. Uh, and they all have ghastlies or hunters. None of them have Gengars, which is fine. Oh, she's got three of them. All right. Uh, Metal Claw. Go ahead and one shot. Unless I find... Oh, I get an attack raise. Unless I find a shiny, I'm really just not gonna care. Protect. I don't need protect. Uh, another ghastly, which is fine. I have the attack boost, so I should be... Not guaranteed, but I should kill this thing no problem. Da -na -na -na. Critical hit. Ooh, a critical hit plus the attack boost. Another Ghastly. She's got three Ghastlies. Is this one going to be like 25? No, it's all of them are 22. Just because I'm curious, what, what is uh, Haunter's uh, EV yield? Two. Alright, let's... Chandler Angelica. All these women are giving me like seven hundred dollars, which is great. But then again, uh, because the Poké Dollar is equivalent to uh, the Japanese yen in American, it should be like seven dollars, which is not, you know. Oh God, I misclicked. Oh, all right. I really should move that to the top of my thing so I, so I don't misclick anymore. But then again, it makes it more of a challenge. Chandler Jennifer. Another 700 bucks. Alright, this should be the last lady on this floor. Keyword being should. I just say singular ghastly level 24, alright? Two, two levels higher than the other chick. One shot. Amelia. Uh, okay, here's another item. Rare candy. All right, cool. Gun. Gonna use that right away, just because the way this challenge works. Uh, cause I don't want people in the comment section be like, "You got a hundred rare candies." I'm like, "Yeah, I know." All right. Well, almost all my team members uh, are really close. You know, I'll just give it to uh, Ninja Askins. Uh, rare candy. Here we go. Uh, uh. Is there anything right here? Uh. I thought there was a hidden item, but apparently there's not. Be gone, intruders. This is the ghost from the original game. It's a Marowak, fun fact. The ghost was Marowak. I'm pretty sure it's still a uh, ground type, which it's fine because I can just hit it with water moves. Oof, that did not deal enough damage. Again, because this is a boss battle, this thing should have a page on the wiki, but I don't think it does, so I'm just going to not look it up. So far, all it's doing is leering me, which is fine. 
I'm at minus two right now, so that's fine. I'm pretty bulky as it is. I'm also a relaxed nature, so I just keep hitting this thing. Minus three. Whatever this thing hits me with, it's gonna hit hard because I'm minus three, assuming it's a physical move. Focus energy, so now it's preparing for a crit. Was this thing gonna is this thing gonna sweep me? I don't think so. Well, unless it has something to hit, shoot I'm not getting sweeped. Minus four, okay. Does this thing have any moves? I'm probably gonna kill it right now, so. Yeah, alright. No damage whatsoever. The ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The spirit was calmed and it departed to the afterlife. That's fucking dark, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. So. A bunch of these grunts. There's rocket grunts up here. And I'm pretty sure after I do this, I should be able to go to Silco. Which I'm at 11 minutes, so what I'm gonna do. Uh. I got an idea. I, after I finish the tower, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go uh, to Silco. I'm not gonna finish. Uh, well. I'm not going to be able to finish Silphco in 20 minutes, should I just wait until tomorrow? 50 after, it's 20 minutes from now. 23 minutes. Uh, there's no way I'm going to finish. I, there's no way. I'm going to start it, but not finish it, so... Alright, so I'm... Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and, uh... I'm gonna play through this as much as I can, and then, uh... I'm just gonna save right in front of Silphco, just so I know to go there afterwards. Alright, Dustox is close to leveling up, so I'm gonna go ahead and send him out, just, just to get the EXP to, to level up. Ah, supersonic, damn it. You're gonna make me work for this, huh? Was that you? I thought somebody dropped something in the parking lot. Player defeated Rocket Grunts. $800. I'm not gonna forgive you for this. Alright, how many Grunts? Okay, there's only three Grunts, that's fine. 13 minutes, we got this. I mean, because I'm... I'm seven minutes away from the 20 minute mark, I could do a little bit of self-co, but... The only thing that I really want in Selfco is I want uh, the the TM for bulk up, just just to know where it is when I'm doing the uh, the challenge, you know, the, the the challenge of the the, the Pokedex thing. Did you see that video that I put up uh, this morning about the, the the most ambitious thing this channel's ever done? Um, basically, I'm gonna try and see just how much of the Pokedex I can fill out without throwing a Pokeball. Traditionally, how you catch Pokemon is you throw Pokeballs and shit. However, if you obtain a Pokemon via, like, a gift or whatever, like, an NPC just gives it to you, you still get the Pokedex entry, right? And then you also get the Pokedex entry when it evolves. So, my thing is, there's almost 900 Pokemon in the game. How many Pokemon can you, air quotes, catch without throwing a Pokeball? That was the uh, the question that I posed to myself. Obviously, all the starters, you know, you get those as gifts. Um, in a lot of the games, they just straight up give you an Eevee for free. 
the fossils, uh, the stuff at the game corner that you can, you know, gamble for. Like, you go play the slot machines and then you get coins, and then you, you, you trade the coins uh, for, you know, stuff. Which is fine. Uh, that's all fair game. Uh, what else? There's a couple of NPCs that'll sell you Pokemon for money. Um, there's a dude right, so right outside of the first cave in this game that will sell you a Magikarp for 500 bucks. That's actually a good deal. I mean, it's level 5, which sucks. Because Magikarp doesn't get any moves until level 15. And then it doesn't evolve until 20. So for 15 levels, you're going to have to suck it up and deal with a Magikarp. And because I'm not allowed to throw Pokeballs, I can't go and catch another Magikarp that's higher level. I have to deal with the one that the guy gives me. Not only do I have to complete the not not complete the Pokedex, but not only do I have to do that without whatever NPCs give me as gifts, those are the only Pokemon I'm allowed to use on my active team. So I have to beat the game with shit that the NPCs give me. You know? Yeah. Like I like I can't catch any of the legendaries. So I can't use those on my team. Like anything that an NPC gives me, that's fair game. If I have to catch it with the Pokeball, I can't I'm not allowed to use it. Um, it is going to be a nightmare if I run into a shiny. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to make a decision. Like, I'm either going to have to kill it, or I'm going to have to break the rules and catch it. It's still going to add to my Pokedex. So, at the end of the series, I'm going to have to subtract... That, yeah, that's, that's, I mean... I'm trying to think. Because... I can't catch any of the starters in the wild, so I would have to soft reset for a shiny starter, which is not going to happen. Um, I could soft reset for gift shinies. Um, yeah. Well, it's not guaranteed. That's why you have to keep resetting until you get one. There's a, there's a 1 in 8,000 chance in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, there is... Off the top of my head, I can think of one Pokemon that is uh, locked from being shiny. So it's impossible to get this Pokemon shiny, which sucks. Um, it's the uh, the Jinx that the... That the uh, there's a lady... It does, yes. Every Pokemon has a shiny and they're all programmed into the game on the off chance somebody hacks them into the game. Um, so like a lot of event legendaries that you can't catch in game, but they give them to you like a Wi-Fi distribution. You know, those have been shiny locked for years. Um, actually, the only way to get a legitimate shiny Mew, like, the only way, is in Pokemon Emerald, uh, during a one-time event that was in, like, 2005, uh, they gave you, uh, you had to go to, like, a GameStop, and using the, the card reader thing, you know that thing that I got, the, the, you swipe the card, the Pokemon cards, and it tells you the Pokedex entries and shit, you remember that thing? You have to go to GameStop, and they had one of those machines, with a special Pokemon trading card that they would swipe in the machine and it would give you, um... It would give you a ticket to go to an island that's pre-programmed into the game, but the only way to access this island was that event, right? So, uh, they, it'll, it's, I think it's called Birth Island, and you go there by boat, and on the island, the only Pokemon that's, that's there is a Mew. But what a lot of people didn't know is that you could keep resetting and resetting and resetting and resetting until you get a shiny Mew. To this day, that is the only legitimate way to actually get a shiny Mew. The only way. From this one-time event from 2005. Technically, you could use a Game Shark to hack that event in and still do it to this day, but you have to hack for it. However, it's programmed into the game, so it counts as being legit. You know what I mean? You still have to you still have to soft reset for it. It's still legit, you, you just have to use a Game Shark. Which sucks, but... Alright, that's the last of the grunts. Alright, go talk to Mr. Fuji. Hi, Mr. Fuji. Ha, huh, you came to save me. Thank you, but I, ca I came here on my own free will to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern, blah blah blah. Follow me to my house. Uh... Alright, and then also, don't forget to talk to him because he gives you the Poke Flutes. Uh, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. Uh, I'm gonna be fine. 
You received the Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji. Do not forget to talk to this guy because he gives you the Poke Flute, and without it, you're not able to wake up Snorlax. You know what? I'm not going to go to Silphco. Instead, I'm going to go south. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Wait, you know Hold on. Did he heal me? No, he did not heal me. I thought Mr. Fuji healed you. I'm sorry. All right, let's go back and heal real quick because now I'm just trying to pad out the runtime because I'm not going to go to Silphco like I wanted to because I don't have the time for it because uh, here's what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to get to Silphco and then my alarm's going to go off and I have to go to work. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fight Snorlax, which is fine. I feel like it's a healthy compromise. Plus, we're already at the 20-minute mark, so I can either stop this recording and do like a 15-minute video, or I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Go up these stairs, and then, uh, I think... No! Oh, the dude's not in here. The ashes were stored... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, have this TM. I don't need it anymore. TM27. Oh, it's a, that's return. Cool. All right. Okay, I did. I, that's not what I came up here for, but yeah, go ahead and talk to that girl. You get a TM for free. Cool. All right, Route 12. Go south. Oh, God. All right. Yo, I got a bite. And these are all water trainers, which is going to suck because I don't have any way to deal with water types, unfortunately. I think water resists steel, so that sucks. Water sport? Okay, I don't know why you have that. I'm so glad that water sport and mud sport were taken out of the game in HM. I'm so sick and tired of seeing those moves on NPCs. Polywag? Alright, let's switch. Who could use a little bit of leveling? I, I, I have to get uh, Shedinja. Not Shedinja, uh, Ninja Ask. A little bit of polywag action, swords dance. I didn't mean to fight this dude, by the way, so again, this is just padding out the runtime, which is fine. It's like, I, I mean, my alarm's gonna go off in like 10 minutes, so. I don't even know that I'm gonna get to fight Snorlax. Snorlax is a pain in the ass to catch. Go ahead and stay in. Unless this thing has a rock move, I don't think I'm in too much trouble. Plus, I'm gonna outspeed. I'm plus two speed, plus two attack. Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter's got a boost. Oof. Another water sport for some reason. I'm um, plus three speed. The only thing that sucks about speed boost is I have to watch the animation every time. Almost $800 from that guy. Alright, I don't know what that item is right there, but I once I get Surf, eventually I'm going to go ahead and get that. Alright, dodge that dude. And that dude is a spinner, so that's okay. Let's, oh, God damn it! <laughs> Again, just padding out the runtime. Fisherman Hank, and all he's got is a Goldeen. I need to switch out my lead. Supersonic, don't mess with me, man. Yo. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of Supersonic because that really messes me up. Alright, I think, isn't there a uh, thing right here? I thought there was a hidden item right here. There's not. Okay. Uh, there's not a hidden item right here. This dude also rotates. God bless. Right. Is my mountain? Yeah, my mountain dew's empty. So I don't have any more mountain dew. Ten minutes till my alarm goes off, and I don't even think I'm gonna get. I I might get right up 
to uh, Snorlax, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fight Snorlax. So I'm not going to be able to do Silph Co, and I'm not going to be able to do Snorlax. Great. I'm probably just going to kill Snorlax. Like, I don't need to catch it. Horsey, right? Uh, sh I guess yeah, I have to switch again. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put Ninjask in the front of the party. There's smoke. This dude's just an eva evasion dude. He's he's gonna lower my accuracy. I mean, that was a huge thing in Generation Three was the the evasion bullshit. Thank you. All right, one more of those absolutely should do the trick. I need to switch out in order to reset my stat buffs. Or debuffs. I should be at minus three. Smash the A button. Every time I miss, it, I have to watch more and more animations and just stuff. He's gonna keep lowering my accuracy. Thank you. At minus four accuracy, I finally hit. Shelter, okay, I'll switch. Uh, who can use a little bit of experience? You know what, let's go ahead and scissor, why not? Uh, just slash, right out of the gate, just slash. Oh, that didn't one shot. I thought it would, but it didn't. Metal Claw. And more animation that I have to watch. <laughs> Dang, dude. Goldeen. Oh, he's still got more Pokemon? Oh, you know what? I, I guess it's a good thing I had to watch that animation, because... Get an attack buff. Oh, I still didn't one shot. What? What? Yeah. And I got all my cards right here. These are all four of my decks. I got uh, Pendulum Dragons, your deck, which is uh, Dark Fiends, dark, slash Darkest Diablos. Uh, Phantom Knights, and then uh, my Red Eyes. And everybody's like, oh, dude, those are the four decks that you have. Like, they're the four that I have completed. I'm trying to build Cyber Dragons. Uh, I'm missing three cards. I'm trying to build Blue Eyes. I'm missing a bunch of cards for that. Uh, between Trade-In, uh, Alternative, and a bunch of other cards. Uh, cards of Consonants would be great. Um, actually, no, wait. No, not Cards of, cards of Consonants. What am I thinking about? Alright, so this is Snorlax, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save right here. Wait, you know what? How, what is my team looking like? My team? Ah, my team's alright. Uh, again, I'm just gonna kill the Snorlax, so it doesn't matter. Uh, switch to the front. And my name has been Jason Fisher. I will see you guys in the next episode. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the good social media stuff. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.